In the year 1997, the future is in chaos and turmoil. Mankind is on the brink of extinction. Brave survivors band together and build a time displacement apparatus to receive a signal from a parallel future. This transmission is the Vondekast. podcast the official podcast of bundablog.com um we've been doing this podcast since 2013 we have over a hundred episodes and we talk about anything and everything nerdy and we try to find people that are passionate about nerdy things and uh give them a chance to shine if we can uh i'm steven uh i remember very clearly very fondly when i was a kid Forcing my two 18 year old older brothers to take me to see the Power Rangers film in 1996. And then bringing along actually their friend George, Whoa. who spent the whole time just laughing at it and making fun of me <laughs> for being so into Power Rangers. So, but I didn't care. I was like shrugging him off. I'm like, you're an idiot. And guess what? They're not friends with George anymore, and my brothers are still friends with me. <laughs> what are the odds? High five. This is uh, Mr. J. He hosts our uh, DCFU, our Film Universe DC related DC Comics podcast. Uh, we also talk about comic <coughs> books on our podcast together. And then we have a super special guest. The Lavender Ranger is here. Uh, Gerald. <laughs> in effect, say what's up. Hi. Tell him a little Looking bit about yourself. Oh, okay. Um, I own um, Henshin, uh, Henshin Grid, which is a blog, and uh, ScoopersHentai.com and RangersCentral.com, which has, um, uh, I've been uh, running for almost uh, 20 years, and uh, because of that, um, uh, a bond, um, who owned the the Power Rangers? They had a, um, a super fan group, so they um, they uh, they got my information. So they get they send me free stuff, and I've gone to um, uh, um, uh, the um, a convention um, Power the, Con? Uh, Con? the Power Morphicon, and there they had a breakfast for us. So I like. It was for their uh, uh, 20th anniversary, so I've gotten to talk to a few of the people in charge and stuff and that. So, um, trying to be humble here, like I know I know Power Rangers. I keep track with it all the time. I don't know. Um, I don't want to call myself an expert or anything like that, but yeah. But you're our expert, so I'll call you an expert. Okay, if you're not gonna okay, call yourself good. that. Thank you. Because I will test his Power Rangers IQ against anyone on the face of the planet right now if we're, we're doing prize fighting for uh for for, for, for power rangers trivia for this is Mike my Tyson. number okay. one pick when the aliens come down yeah and they are like yo we have this giant monster what are you gonna fight him with i'm gonna be like lavender ranger <laughs> throw trivia at him <laughs> just trivia <laughs> destroy this beast <laughs> not a zord not anything just, and just... the fourth ranger of our power ranger panel 
the incomparable Megazord from the new films. He's out of a job right now. Yes. <laughs> well, so hopefully Hasbro will get him a new job. We got him. We got a small version that could fit in the building. <laughs> um, we but shrunk he's him. He's here. His movie didn't do so good, unfortunately. No. no. Yeah, no. Right? Is there ever going to be a Power Ranger sequel? Hasbro said that they're hoping. They're hoping. They want to. They want to. <laughs> They're hoping Maybe they'll just have it on Netflix. They want Science to. Gate. I'm so hoping and Science I want to so as well. <laughs> so I guess that makes two of us. My cousin it, loved. I, my cousin and I we saw it last year. We loved it, man. It was a good movie. If no, only, I loved it too. I I just think like if my I had cousin, my cousin felt like a kid again when he watched that movie. Yeah. If if only we had a fifth ranger to finish our podcast panel. Yeah. I wish it could be some form of like monster <laughs> or something like something. Oh my god! No, not you. Is it Titan? You're the wrong franchise. <laughs> You're a Titan. No, wait, hold on, hold on. I think I can, I can fix this. I can make a fifth member of our panel. I'll add another chair. It's okay. It's okay. I don't think this is really a Titan guy. I think he's just been bewitched by some evil reader of false magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Blockbuster Guy Frank! Oh my god, it was you all along! Yeah, wow! <laughs> this is horrible! Like, Come on up, take like, a seat, Frank! Okay. Hey, that spell could only make you scream louder. Me, her mind powers. <laughs> oh my god, I'm free. Uh, wait, there's still a little tight oh. dust. No, over there, sit over there. Now. <laughs> that was, that was sit away from me, you smell like this gun now. Oh, no. <laughs> so that's what that is. So this is Blockbuster Guy Frank, he's our yes, podcast editor extraordinaire. Yeah. He's a, uh, a Florida <laughs> Supercon staple. Way. He's been <laughs> roving the halls of Florida Supercon for years. And this year we have 10 panels. Which is on powerful. Sunday, at the end of the day, close out your day with us. We're doing a rant about anything nerdy panel. There'll be an open mic where anybody can just rant or rave or talk or say whatever they want. And it'll be on a live podcast that will be on the internet and on our RSS feed and on iTunes and Stitcher and stuff. On Sunday, we also have a wrestling panel coming up later, and uh, at the end of the day, there's a uh, horror movie panel that's probably only appropriate for this side of the room. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. It happens. Um, so, Blockbuster Guy Frank, why don't you tell us a little bit about you and about the, the, the rangers you love? Oh, man, that, that is so hard to choose between. Because there's just so many good rangers from the Saban <laughs> era, era to the Disney era, and it's like, I love the Mighty Morphin, don't get me wrong. But it's just, when I really look at it, it's like a mix between the Time Force Rangers and the Wild Force Rangers are my favorite rangers. And it's like, you got one series purely about the animals, and the other one's about futuristic effects, like going back and forth in time, getting space, like, cops trying to get all these, were they orcs or were they, like, mutants? Mute, well, the, the mutants were in uh, Time Force and then Wild Force were the orcs, but when they had team up, it was the mutants. Like, yeah, like it's a hybrid, right? Yeah. Yeah. They combined. I, lo I love both of those. I'm not going to lie, the best Zord of all times. White Tiger Zord. You would like the orcs, you were just wearing a monster mask. Come yeah, on, man. What's wrong with No, you? not orcs, orgs. With a orgs. G. Oh, with a G? <laughs> yes. yes. Orgs. I don't know. I, th I thought Lord of the Rings was hot then, and they were like, yo, let's just call them orcs. The kids will never tell the difference. <laughs> no, it was some, more, some organic, I think, because they were. Oh, they were like the bio organic. Monsters were, yeah. The monsters were. So have they? they so has Power Rangers done all of the villain gimmicks like possible? Yeah, much. They've like they've gone they had gears, twice. they've gone to they had villains, witches, monsters, yeah. robots, robots, aliens, robots, luchador, aliens, zombies, a wrapping pumpkin, Zom zombies, yeah. zombies, zombies, kind of. Yeah. They had skeleton guys. Yeah. Is that what we need? The stuff? Rangers dead? Oh, oh wait a minute. Yes, oh. they did zombies. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. They when? Did Where? Which one? Is it for the oh, Adrian? Oh, oh Mystic Force. Force. They, they were did. supposed to be as a zombie. Okay, so in Dino yet. Thunder, mm. did they ever fight any dinosaurs? Like, they yes. ever put a, yeah. a yeah, full was, Zord up against a real dinosaur? You don't need a Zord, you got like the greatest like God, range of all time. Are you telling me they punched a dinosaur on the show? No, that's no. too that's too aggressive. Oh, you gotta no, kick no. a dinosaur. <laughs> oh, okay. You gotta roundhouse it. <laughs> There's only one ranger in the entire <laughs> series of Power Rangers. They can form such power to an actual T-Rex. Do you have the clip or no? No, I forgot the most important USB we had today. No. <laughs> oh, for real? So that was the one? Mercy of my soul. So, 
Yep. And I don't have any internet, so, so I can't access nah. my website. Or anything. We're just flying. We're just <laughs> living <laughs> in nostalgia right now. This is great. Yeah, if you need. I can check my bag. <laughs> I, I have an extra one. I saw this when I was a kid. check. Tommy is just dreaming. It's like it was like in like the first episode. Um, like like there are there are there are people that don't like him. Cause like there, there's yeah, cause there's a lot of people who love Tommy and they mm-hmm. think that the companies concentrate a lot they on, push too on hard them. On they push too hard, so then there are other people that are like, oh, I don't want to deal I mean, with Tommy. I don't want to. Tommy effect was massive. I know it was really huge. Was, yeah, like all the kids, like like in the movie that you said about the fr- fr- the first mo- movie, they had a kid named Fred, and he said. Go, Tommy! That was like how. Yeah, like, that was his only stick. Like all kids fell. Yeah, at that yeah. Time. and he was like the one sidekick. Like, oh god, that kid. And he's not even that great. I feel bad criticizing a child actor, but he what? is like one of the most cringeworthy parts of that. Whoa. Let's see if I have long hair or not. Let's see the power of Blockbuster. I he's got a blue a USB. He's on the gimmick. JDL is what I have. Jimmy Joe Jones launched here at SuperCon. That was great, right? Yeah. My cousin, my cousin that did one too. It was like a dream come true for him. <coughs> hey, so what about that? Um, In here, no. That, that, that showed up. That fan film with him, Justin. No, no, no. That's not. Like, that's not. Is that Tommy? Oh, oh um, are you talking about the one the where they they were doing like the comic but book where Lord Draco? Sorry. Yeah, no, and he was like even. Yeah. Yes, yeah. 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 That's that the fan film. That's uh. Um, it was actually from Saban, right? Yeah. It's uh, it was like uh. To promote the comic book. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, he said it. <laughs> he, like comic? he can complete my sentences now. Yeah, because <laughs> the yeah, the new comic things. series, oh. they had um. Actually, wait, Lord know, Dracon. He was like from yeah, another like, universe where yeah. like, um, the Green Ranger giant. stayed evil. Oh. He never like <laughs> the best became yes. good. Is that what those comics Max is writing? Got a morph up. Uh, the, the ones for um. The, yeah, I know what you're talking about. I think it's, it's boom. boom. Yeah. Yeah, it's a boom. Yeah, I get stuff from boom. So that's Mr. Jay knows his PR. I've talked to them. Holy. Uh, what is your favorite Power Rangers series? Me? You love them all. I'm not talking to you. Oh no. I'm talking to Mr. J. Nope. No, I don't love them all. Wait what a minute. Is the definitive. Well, I'm. I just. I know you have the big selection. You're my. You're my grand finale. Oh okay. Mr. J, you're my appetite. Appetizer. <laughs> Give me some appetizing. <laughs> it's got to be Mighty Morphin. The OG. All, all three seasons. The number one. Yeah. The standard, you know, Hulk Hogan, John Cena. Yes. You yes. know, you're picking Honey Nut Cheerios. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, is what you're picking. Yeah. Well, that's the type of guy he is. That's who he is. That's <laughs> all across the board in his life, Mr. J is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers season one, two, and three. Yeah. That's true. You have the little uh, helmet box set Wait, that yeah. they put out? Or did no. you? No, I just have the regular box. Set. No, you he ogled that thing for so long. <laughs> I was even offered a discount oh. and I couldn't even know. It was oh, expensive. really? Yeah. How much yeah. was it? Like five hundred, two hundred. That is the creme de la creme. Three hundred and the oh, discount yeah, like was like two hundred and fifteen or something. I just got the box sets. Like it wasn't, seven. but like, it's like a full actually authentic helmet. Yeah, I right? could not afford it. No, at the time, it's not. Right? It's not. It's it, it just has slots to put the DVD things. You uh-huh. can't put it. In so it's like that Halo Three Master Chief helmet collection set. I don't know. I'm not into the game, but I don't know. You, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Master Chief. What's your favorite episode of the uh, original Mighty Morphin series? The original? Oh, that is. The, the I, would dripping, say, I would say the, the green. Dripping. The green candle. Either the green yeah, candle the green or candle. like the... Where he's losing the powers? Yes. That, was one of, that, and it's tied with... It's a little random, but there was this episode where they had this monkey guy, like a monkey monster... And he was basically impersonating every yeah. single oh, ranger. Was that the baboon? Yeah, the baboon guy. <laughs> like, you see Billy act so mean. I was I'm, like, wait, it's not Billy. I'm it's trying to recall the name of that episode. It was, oh my god. I, I know. I, I saw I it recently. I forgot the name of it. I it's, had a clip of it. Yeah. It's Timbator was the monster. Right. And the episode was Hanabi River. Ranger. Ranger. Okay. Hanabi Ranger season two. Yes. Yeah. Before the big switch where um, Aisha and. Uh, well, yeah, they go lucky up. and. Peace conference. Yes, before the peace conference. Yeah, exactly. So, so was conference. there peace after the conference? <laughs> like, uh, like, like in the Power Rangers universe. I guess you could. Is say. there nothing else that goes wrong, except for giant monsters coming, and trampling around and destroying the world? In the United States. 
In one city in the United States. <laughs> it's just that one city. Or Terra no, the Adventure. They, they went into space. They, 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 they went they they Noah, it was other planets. Yeah, they, yeah, they went to the There was an episode where they had a field trip. They went to, like, <laughs> London? Yeah. I think they went to no. London one time. No, they went to Australia. But yeah. Australia? Yeah. Well, of course they oh, did. They were shooting the movie. where they filmed. Because they were shooting a movie in Australia. It's like everything tied in to real life things that was happening. Because of the Power Rangers, Andrew Grove was screwed. Because every week they're being attacked by monsters. That's true. How do they yeah, make a movie? I don't think that this place is a small town. No other city. They can build it really fast. No one's having problems. I just imagine the builders are just done, and then at least the monster comes and just drop their tools. Here you go. He's like, what? Enter San Francisco? No, thank you. Well, well, well. Hey guys, I better stay. It would be awesome if there was like, is there? Is there any closing this door? <laughs> Those are so I'm sorry. So, in the Power Rangers mythology, yes. Mm. All right. After I'm, I'm obsessed with this peace conference now. Okay. Okay. In Power Rangers mythology, after the peace conference, uh -huh. okay, does it follow the time track to like when they become a more advanced civilization? Like, is it like no. a Star Trek level, you no. know, plotline? No. Like, is is Lost Galaxy, you know? As they connected were, with... They were shown the door. That's it. Okay. it. There's no connection. I mean, there could be, okay. but... Uh, so, once, so once, basically, once Disney got it, they sort of threw away the, well, the continuity a bit? No, no, but it, no, no, no. But it's not no, even no. that. It's it like, is. when Jason came back Look, and Zeno, they barely even talked oh, about it. I think we have, a, we have a question. Steve, I think we have a question. You got a question? No. no. Oh, okay. I, I'm it's sorry. Cool. I'm a teacher, so every time I see a hand up, I'm like, okay... Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. like, you want to let him play with it on the floor and eat it? Eat it? <laughs> no? I don't know. That's what giant monsters do to Megazords. They eat them. Whoa. Okay? <laughs> this kid's going to put on his Titan mask. We can film like a really cool YouTube video right now where he's fighting a Megazord. They're just tearing it apart. They're almost equal size. <laughs> oh, we can We can play with... Okay, he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> there goes my dream. Later. Thank you for coming. Thank you. <laughs> you guys want a card? I have a card. <laughs> Frank, give him a card. Go around give him a card. Boom. Give their dad a card. Okay, so you were asking about the peace uh, conference and... Um, the peace con... Like, okay, so... We're so spending way too much time on the peace conference. No one cares. <laughs> why, why can't I get some peace on the peace conference? There's That's no peace. That's what I want. I want they they asked for more money. They said bye-bye. They brought in new actors. They said they left to a peace conference. That's it. Okay. And when Jason comes back in Zeal, they don't even mention it. So yeah, they, they, they did. So in one they, little bit. They were so, so, so cool, man. So maybe because they never came back, that means the peace conference went wrong. It went wrong. That they means did come that back in the comics. maybe they, like, you know, oh, there was some trauma. It took time. What if the peace conference led to all the villains making an actual union, uh. which they did in space? Yeah. Whoa. Maybe that was a seed. The alliance of evil. Yeah. If, the, if the whole world got peace, they made, remember, they made SPD... Terrible time space. So, you know, time force. So, so the other have they like ever that. explained it would like, be why Rita, like why Rita? Why was Rita banished you know? to the moon? Like why the moon? Like she, like was Earth just like the middle of nowhere for these aliens? And they were like, meh? or <laughs> was it like a <laughs> mystical point? Yeah. Like, okay. Okay. So what's the Sentai version? As well? Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I'm asking. I'm getting asked two questions. One thing. At the same one thing. Time. Okay. Sorry. The first thing, they didn't explain on the show that they that they, they, they did not say why specifically they picked the moon. The only thing was that she was having a Hayward Zord on, and he trapped her in the moon. That's okay. all they said. Okay. Now, so that's where he sends his, his, his lover's quarrels. I guess. <laughs> okay. To the moon. He's like, girl, straight to the moon. I'm like, Jackie Gleason. I don't Jackie care. Gleason. Straight like, to the moon. Boom. How do you say it? One of these days. What do you say, Alice? Like, to the moon. Boom. Boom. Yeah, to the moon. Exactly. So in the oh. Japanese series. It was the olden times. <laughs> <laughs> the 1930s. It's actually like age appropriate. <laughs> you know? Oh, no, sure. They were like 100 years. It was like probably like the 1800s, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't know what it was. Okay. No, eons they, 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 they just say they can't keep track of it because sometimes they say eons and then they say three thousand years ago and sometimes they, they mix say it up. Well, also with all like the dubbing and stuff they like that, sometimes that gets yeah. mixed up yeah. in translation a little so bit. So that's why I don't take it by heart. I'm like, you know, oh, it was it was it was, yeah, it was just long ago. But what came first, Zordon getting trapped or Rita getting trapped? That's what because I would like to know. Yeah, we're gonna get the answer. Well, I killed Zordon. They trapped each other. Well, him losing his corporeal form and being banished to a tube. Has to be like Rita's fault, right? Yeah, you know. like that's good storytelling. That would. That's no, what but they what said. I'm saying yeah. is, that's the implication. What I'm saying is, they were both fighting. Movie, <laughs> What's up? How do y'all feel about the new movie? Actually, I had fun with it a lot. The one, the one that came out like last year. Yeah, 
I really enjoyed the, the, the character stuff in it. I thought the ranger stuff, they were, like, too, like, too slow and sparsing out the rangery of it. Like, I think if you're waiting more than 15 minutes into a Power Ranger movie for things to start getting Power Rangery, I think you're, you're missing your, your well, timing a little. But I think, I think they, they did that because it kind of shows, like, they're teenagers. They got, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I got they you. They have the drama, and they're trying to have, like, a realistic yeah. aspect, right? And, they're, now they're being foisted with protecting the earth. I just, just like, hold on a minute. I'm a teen. Yeah, I, 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 got, I got teenage drama. <laughs> 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 teenage hormones. this person said they like me, but then they're hanging out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I, I just feel I like... I mean, I understand the, the movie, yeah. but I loved it. I, but I knew it was just going to be for the fans. It's like, yeah. it's a, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a the, personal love letter yeah. fans. It, it was is. not going to make, like, international, like, they it, wanted it. It would have been, like, a hit or a miss. Because the problem was this. Like, in China, oh. it's... It failed in Japan. It failed, and it, like it, it it's didn't do the me, usual. Yeah. It didn't do the usual uh, tokusatsu things that they do in hentai. There's, <laughs> there's all these like compared things. to the original Mighty Morphin movie and the Turbo movie in terms of but, oh like, yeah, no, but, that's but, way it's better. It's the most profitable. But I just think no, yeah. storytelling wise for story that wise. movie, yeah. it's two movies stuck together. The yeah. back half of it is a Power Rangers movie. Exactly. The first half of it is a thing. If you're gonna tell. Like, what they were trying to be was, like, they wanted to be, like, an 80s sort of, like, coming-of-age movie. Like Breakfast Club. That's what they were going for. That's what they were saying, yeah. But you could have done it because the Power Rangers did it in a way that both storylines are going organically together. And if they would have hit that, it would have been a movie more people would have been interested in seeing. Yeah, because who who direct... I'm sorry. Who direct and to produce a... Power Rangers, anything, show, movie, anything. It's a hard thing because you need to balance the comedy and the the action, the action and all the things. Like like he was saying, the the two worlds. It it felt like two separate, separate movies, entities. which I was okay with. But like to have it be a successful movie, it should have mixed it more like the show does. But even even upper boosters of the new seasons, you know, there's that that trouble with the tone, you know. Mr. J, what do you think? The thing is that um, the budget would have been crazy yeah. if if they would have had like more fights and more time with the Zords. That's why you could kind of tell they were saving it for the end. Yeah, because they didn't have a big budget. I mean, it was pretty it's big. Robots. It was like a hundred million. That's still pretty big for a superhero. It's a pretty big, mm-hmm. especially with CG and robots. Especially for a Power Rangers movie, that's the that's, that's highest the budget, budget they've ever had. For a Power Rangers, yes, but it should have been more. It should have been like a Avengers. I mean, remember, they're, they're but, that, but that's the, the thing. That's the thing. Well, well they, your first they movie, you gotta, yeah, you know, stick your best. But just the way they use the movie too, like Godzilla, which only had eight minutes of Godzilla and was considered a successful movie. Okay, they used Godzilla in an extremely sparse and small way, and their budget was on par with Power Rangers. They were in the hundred million dollar, seventy million dollar range on their but first people Godzilla about movie. That movie too. I know they complain. I know they complain. But if you're doing a Power Rangers movie, and this guy just said he wanted more teen stuff, and you gave him, uh, you know, fifty minutes of teen stuff and fifty minutes of Power Rangers at the end of the movie, you could have made a movie where you give him the best, like, most dramatic 10 minutes of a giant Zord fight at the end, okay? The expensive CGI. They wasted, like, 20 minutes of, like, so-so CGI (laughs) in that movie (laughs) when they could have had eight minutes of, like, dramatic CGI where, like, you're using the buildings and you're obscuring things and you're only giving pieces and then you do, like, a giant reveal. So they only actually see the giant badass Zord for the last three, five minutes of the movie, okay? But you've launched the whole Power Rangers universe. The movie tried so hard. The other thing, too, that killed that movie was they didn't want to get the full R. Yeah. If yeah, they, they didn't want to get no. the full harder PG-13. And, and, you know, and, they were walking that line. Yeah, yeah and the producers, the kids, they, they <laughs> said that they didn't want to lose the kids, and they thought that the PG-13 hurt them. But I don't think it did. Yes, Doug. I think what really, really hurt the movie was that giant pudding monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Turning Goldar into just Goldar like a melty. They made him stupid. Golden, he's like a melting yeah. pot yeah. character. Yeah. 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 Goldar was not the smartest yeah. character, but like he, he deserved more than just being yeah. a, a, a melting. Right? I wanted a little bit of just somebody standing there. 
<laughs> Gold, Goldar looked like the only thing he could take out was Khal Drago, or, or no, was was uh, was Viserys on the first season of Game of Thrones. For my Game of Thrones listeners online, must be. <laughs> Um, no, no, he, yeah, I, I was upset when I heard that, like, he didn't have an actor, so, the, oh, he doesn't have an actor, so he's just a CG character, like, I knew it, I knew it. it was Any other uh, like Power Rangers questions, discussion points you guys oh. would like us to uh, discuss? Oh, I was just saying, think can, can we acknowledge the fact that even though it's a great show, production value is absolutely terrible? Which one? For well, Marvel. remember, they had to rely a lot on stock footage and been playing around. Well, that's, that's, that's what I love part. about it. It's so well That's done. what I love about it so much now as an adult. I was like going back and realizing they made that they the had movie. like seven minutes of the show that were always exactly the same. Yes. <laughs> like that is they beautiful to me. They recycled footage. I, you know, like, like, I they only it. ever had to produce like... 15 minutes of footage per episode. Like, yeah. Basically. From a filmmaking standpoint, the show gets me excited that way. <laughs> it's crazy. One, one of my favorite episodes is there's a, I don't know for what reason, but uh, Rita's, one of Rita's monsters kidnaps a girl. Uh-huh. And in one scene, she's like this pretty little blonde-haired, blue-eyed girl. And then she's and Japanese. And scene, she's Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> she went, she went super like, saiyan. Man. It wasn't brief. It was like, a full solid half. I know what you're talking about, yeah. They would yeah. They, they, they would play with that sometimes like kind of like in your face, like with Rita and stuff, mm. in between the American and the They would switch they had an actor to play yeah. in some scenes because I yeah. it reminds me of the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger movie because they had to film everything all legit hundred percent and I was gonna find out the story how they pulled it off because like Barbara Goodson, the voice actor, she had a full story about it a few years back at a Supercon, like Four, five, like four years. Yeah, ago. yeah, she was here four years ago. And it's like that would have been crazy to know because like she told me they had to get. I don't know. She got in the suit. And they got someone else. No, no. To, like, it's a, no, no. She did the voice, but um, the, 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 that was another actress in the suit. But it was always it another actress exactly in the suit. The same, but the, like, that actress was also like because in the series, like they ran out of Rita footage, and eventually they hired an actress. Yeah, I think her name was Carla or something. Yeah, like yeah. Her. She goes and, the, to the cons. She's doing cons. And it's funny because she's like she's like a Hispanic actress. She yeah, looks yeah. so different from doesn't like, look Japanese. The Japanese. Yeah, <laughs> but they use another actress for the movie in Australia, the f- first movie, because yeah. they needed to get an Australian accent, um, Australian actress. I'm sorry. So actress. they got other actors to do the suits, but it was the same voices. So yeah. So what was the question before? <laughs> What's your favorite episode of? Oh. Um, Power okay. Rangers, well, any series. Going back to the the seasons, my high favorite seasons have to be um in space and RPM. In RPM, my favorite up, um episode is uh, Doctor K, that is about the um, she's like the the mentor of the group, but but she's like j- younger than them and she's smarter, and she created the whole virus that started the whole um. The um, apocalypse. The she, whole, wait, so she did by accident, or was it like uh, was it half and time? half? So this so she episode, was curious. it reveals it. Well, because she <laughs> meant the virus to only affect the company that was trapping her, that had her like uh, as a, a guinea pig. So she, so she wanted to get out because they they lied to her, telling her that she was allergic to the sun, but she she realized that she wasn't. So the virus was only supposed to stay in. The corporation, but it got loose. Spread that crazy. It spread out, and then like, you oh, know, yeah, like the amazing. Rangers found out in a, like in another episode. I mean, wow. They got really upset at her. There's like this is one cool episode of RPM. Since RPM has a lot of comedic moments and action moments. There's like a scene where they're breaking the fourth wall, like talking about the stock footage. Yeah. The explosions when you and the enemy eyes of the Zords. Yeah, and it's like there's even one scene where this guy's like I think the Scottish guy I cannot remember his name. You guys remember the RPM Finn. blue? Finn. Yeah. He's like, all right, guys, I'm coming to rescue you guys. Like, all of his friends are like down. He's like, all right, guys, turns around behind them, RPM, and then it just explodes and it destroys all the villains. Oh no, it happened to Ziggy. Yeah, like that was just hilarious. Like, he was a green one. Yeah, that happened to him because he was asking about the explosions behind him. Yeah, which like, is like the Green Ranger, right? Yeah, yeah. it was a common like a little joke. Hentai thing that there's explosions behind them all the time. I so, mean, you think that's yeah, that like overdrive, like overdrive. Explosions on the explosions on the explosion. Oh, that's that's a whole other yeah. That's that's uh, <laughs> the, the explosion. F- Michael Bay sees the f- famous uh, uh, Kalish 
explosions. That's what yeah. the, the fans uh, call it. So from SPD to Operation Overdrive, um, it was just explosions because Disney, explosions they didn't want... Uh, Punching uh, and kicking. Exactly. And stabbing so instead, and killing. They just blast and then and the rage just go... <laughs> and there's a big explosion behind them for some reason, yeah. Just make them fly around and stuff. It's, it's yeah, cool. it's fun. <laughs> Kids like the explosion parts. We got, we got plenty of budget for smoke and strobe lights. I'm aware the next Michael Bay was more It's possible. Well, awesome. You never know. Yeah. What are your... <laughs> so, so guys, what, how, about, how about you guys? What about your favorite yeah, moments yeah, yeah. from Power Let us know. I'm kind of curious. Uh, who wants to go first? Who wants to be the first <laughs> ranger to not, like, the volunteer? You'll be our Red Ranger then. Right. <laughs> Forever, I think, right? I don't think it's more of my favorite, more of how ridiculous it was. But do you remember it, like, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger with the rapping pumpkin? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Pumpkin rapper. <laughs> they're, they're making a Funko. A Funko they're Pop. Making, he's making, making a, a Funko, Funko Pop. Really? Okay. No. Yeah. Yeah. He's getting a Funko Pop. No way. <laughs> if we had internet. It's almost racist. It's so but almost. It's <laughs> How about the Latin? Yeah, but remember the Japanese. The Japanese so they're all <laughs> rapping though. Are pumpkins synonymous with black Japanese culture in a way I'm not familiar with? Wait, 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 hold on. I don't understand. Hold on. Wait, <laughs> wait. We just got a question. Okay, that he says uh, is the Japanese version. Okay, there were certain monsters for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers that were only created for that show, wow. so they didn't exist in Japan. That's but the Japanese cool. company they made twenty. Five of them. So those were, yeah. If you notice, if you look at the the monsters of the first season, they were all like mythologically based. You had a King Spinks, you had the Eye Guy, you had all these. Yeah, but then after that, it was just animals like um, uh, Slippery Shark, uh, the the pumpkin wrapper. You know, they they were they were stuff. They were things, right? Right. So those were the ones that were created. So so. So fans uh, call it Zoo 2 because it's like Zoo Ranger, but it was a 2, number 2. So that only existed like in America. So he didn't actually rap in any, you know, he only rapped in English. So apparently. here's another sub question of that. Did they ever, like the Japanese company, that, did they ever recycle some of those monsters in later Sentai series? They did a certain point, but they, they gave the suits to the um, American company. So they um, auctioned off the earlier ones. Mm-hmm. And then the other uh, costumes that they still have them, so they still use them. Like, My for example, in Ninja Steel, they still use the old costumes. Uh, like, and like a lot of fans are like, "Wait a minute!" But that's this character, and he's already dead, or he's somewhere else, and it doesn't make sense. They but. they also repurposed a lot of back in the day when I was a kid. I was a big fan of Big Bad Beetleborgs. Yeah, and a lot they of the twice, Big Bad so. Beetleborg, especially some of the cooler looking, like more rangery looking villains. Forever Red. Yeah, Forever right? Red. Forever Red. They, was the Forever Red, was they were the villains. Story, and they used their, the Hito, the Hito Borgs, they used the, the gun, the, the Thunder Slinger for um, RPM. So uh, Iggy had a stunner, it was a s- s- silver, and he tried to, u- u- yeah, he tried to use it against uh, Dylan. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that, that was from Hito Borg. So here's a quick question for everyone in the audience. So, you all know how in, like, Turbo, we had Justin, like, the boy who transformed to the blue Turbo Ranger that replaced, what, Adam? And that you got the Beetleborgs, which are these three kids. No, he replaced the Rocky. Oh, Rocky, yeah. my bad. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. I knew, but I didn't want to. Like, imagine Beetleborgs. They have these three kids, get the superpowers, and they basically are now... For a just com- like, just superpowers like from uh, their favorite comic book. Yeah. Right, right, basically, their favorite comic book becomes them. Like, it's really... Yeah. Actually, the Beetleborgs are very underrated. But they reference so much nerdy stuff no, yeah. 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 Here's the that like, it was way ahead of its time. Do you think it was like a wasted opportunity to have them just as villains or evil rangers instead of just the actual team up oh. branching the universes together? They yeah. should have, but this was the thing. They, there was only suits that they had. I wish they did that, mm-hmm. but that was only suits they had, and they were changing hands to Disney, and mm-hmm. Disney didn't understand how come they were doing an episode of Old Toys. So they had to ask... Wow. Hands eye for help. Oh my god. That's that's basically 
Exactly. <laughs> it well, does, but unfortunately. The toys, it ends with the toys. It's like a but I think story. maybe Frank was saying, like, back when Beetleborgs was, was, was on, on, on to have, yeah. 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 Why didn't they do a crossover? They, they did want to, but it, but like, we, it never... But we, we didn't never, live in that universe then. It never... Like, even at that time, with Batman and Superman, the animated series, basically being the same, the companies were so stingy then. You had to wait to buy it on DVD to see Batman and Superman meet. And then you wouldn't get a Justice League show for another, like, six years. Yeah, because if you were a kid, yeah, it was a like, long You know, it just apart. felt like forever. But, but yeah. if you think about it, Nowadays, though, we're used to everything always, like, intermingling together, and yeah. crossing yeah. over. Everyone owns other things. things. Well. Yeah. But I, I think, think the reason... Because they had to, because they had to make new... F- yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, they had to make new f- footage for that. But yeah, and that, and that would be because, more expensive because yeah. the Japanese they didn't do that. Exactly. They didn't do those big crossover type things. They they did they? They, they do now. They do now, okay. but they didn't do it at the time. And yeah. also, it's um, it's extra to purchase those uh, movies. Like you were saying about the um, 199 heroes, uh, uh, Go Kaiger. Um, yeah, yeah. But they have to purchase the movie to get that footage. Which I don't think it would have been a problem because the thing is they relied heavily this on stock footage anyway. Design. Why not? But I think the they used up the budget. I, I think know. also like yeah, that because um, they they did try to cross they crossed over with uh, the Mask Rider yeah. TV show and I don't they think that right. was a very popular crossover. So no. I think probably that's why they never it's tried to cross over again. They they try to stop series. talking about Mask Rider after it came out and try mm. to take out the connections and then yeah. Mask Rider it didn't do that well as that so. Toy kept the license, and then they did a Common Rider's uh, a Common Rider Dragon Knight in two thousand and nine, and that and that didn't do well. So now Toy that doesn't want to bring a uh, Common Rider over here. I thought they were talking about making like a Netflix or something, maybe. But is it too late at this point though? Common Rider like it's popular in Japan, but over here it's next to you know. It's, it's I mean, if they started off again, I don't know if they. It I, could I, possibly. But I mean, if it's audience. in the right hands, if it's in the right hands. I mean, that's the thing the with Netflix is you don't need like super high ratings, so I mean, they could do it on Netflix. That's just that Hasbro has it right now. They can do a lot of things. The fact that Hasbro bought all the Saban rights. Well, it's like Heifer this could be common so writer, They potential. still have to talk to Toei for that. One. So, oh, no, but, but everything else, yeah. Hasbro works too well with other companies. Like so Toei. another Power Rangers family question: VR Troopers was also under Saban as well. Yes. Yeah. Really. Whoa. Yeah. So okay, it was of VR Troopers, Beetleborgs, um, Mass Rider, and Hestic Knights. Wow, they and, owned uh, UPN and, oh, and Ninja and Turtles. Ninja Turtles and, and Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtles. Yeah, but new please don't mention that. <laughs> don't mention that anymore. <laughs> Venus the Turtle. No, we don't need a, a fifth, fifth turtle. turtle. A fifth turtle, yes. We need a girl awesome. turtle. Oh my god. We I need love a female Venus. turtle. So, so Disney had that. So would have happened. So yeah. <laughs> what? Like they would have totally forced. Like, have they could have been but a female It hasn't happened. They didn't so do it. Having a female turtle. I'll be right back. So they haven't done it. It's, it's just they could, they could they easily repackage her to make her like a at least well thought out character. It's not weird that they did it then. Look at how the IDW comics are. It's not weird that they did it then. Power Rangers was. All the shows have done well, so it would be. The well, the show enough? that they didn't own was um, the Superhuman Samurai. They didn't Superhuman own that Samurai? one. No, that, that was Deke. That really? Was, uh, it was Deke? Well, yeah. after after Power Rangers came out, it's like everybody wanted, well, to, yeah, wanted yeah, to do it. Licenses. All the other um, Japanese shows, they wanted to license them. And, yeah. like, How many bathrooms did we get back then for that? Like, do you guys remember? Yeah. Uh, 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 Tattoo Teenage um, Alien Fighters from yeah. Beverly Hills. That was an American. Wait, a Beverly Hills own thing. Show. They even have like DVD releases of some of those series. Yeah, oh, I have yeah, them all. <laughs> this is nostalgia. Yeah. Ex- except I don't have Beetleborgs yet, but yeah, I will. You don't have the big bad Beetleborgs? Wait a minute. You can have them on Netflix. Right? I have it on Netflix, yeah, that's why. Like my. Mm-hmm. The whole season. Have you? He just. He's it on Netflix, yeah. He's yeah, yeah, yeah. It on Netflix. He likes and like, what, three or four seasons? Two seasons. Oh, two seasons. Yeah, they they did want a third, but they didn't have they any more... They got canceled, f- right? Well, they didn't have any more... F- Fundings. Footage, yeah. Oh, footage, that's right. Oh, that's right. They didn't have more shows they because it was based on... Uh, beef, the footage. Beef Hider and... Beef, mm-hmm. And Beef Hider um, Kabutu. And then after that, they did a show that was kind of related, but was more kiddie, so they right. didn't want to use that footage. Hmm. And I've looked at that footage. So, uh, no. <laughs> so actually, real quick, what do you guys think about the old Saban from when they started with Mighty Morphin up until they sold it to Disney, compared to the modern day Saban when they had got it back from Samurai all the way up to 
What was the last one they did? Ninja, Ninja, Ninja Steel. Ninja Steel. Ninja Steel, right? Ninja Steel. Yeah, like, how do you feel about that? Like, how do you rate both of them? Like, because for me, when I look at the original Superman, like, I see that they were progressing, and then when Disney took over, the progression of, like, from being teenagers to being, like, cops and all that other stuff, like, it just grew. But, yeah, when they went back to Saban after the whole Disney thing, they took that progression and just went, let's go back to teenagers with somewhat attitude and let's reuse Mighty Morphin's theme song for every new song. Oh, God. Rangers forever. Like, and just the, it sounds like it's Mighty Morphin remixing into everything. And it's yeah, I like, I, I don't know. It's like, how did that happen? But it, it, I don't know. He was Hasbro trying. Hasbro can fix it. Hasbro can make Power Rangers yeah, more phenomenal as it used to be. You know what I mean? Um, I think Hasabam was just trying to um, uh, try to rekindle that kind of nostalgia. Song. Yeah, it, it worked once, but then for every other. Well, he was saying about the, the songs, right? You, I had a I mean, good point about the kids that they would. Uh, yeah, because the songs are cool as hell. Like well, well, in space, turbo. Light yeah, I like speed. those songs. Yeah, like Light Speed was like one of the best songs. Well, what I was saying was like you know a lot of the kids now they might watch like whatever's the newest one like Ninja Steel maybe they watch like, two seasons of it they they hear it for them it's new it's fresh. like for us it's kind of like man it's, why do they keep playing the same song but over and over for them it's fresh so they're not they're trying to get the fresh. new kids but to how get are they into gonna it. say fresh for those newer kids but that's the thing that once they grow out of it they'll be a new set of kids you know what I mean that's oh, how like, they think like, of it. Like, hold on a second now, wait wait right? hold on a second so here's where uh, Rita she turns good Doug this is where she turns good yeah and this was like that was the moment. That was a Hispanic actress. That was a Hispanic actress. All will be fixed. Oh. Carla Perez. There he is. Oh, guys, fun fact. They were going to get Rito for this, but unfortunately, but the suit was so damaged, they so couldn't damaged, do it. So damaged, yeah. Which, is, which means he could still be alive in the universe. So, how was In Space? Yeah. But the, that was the an analogy of In Space that it was kind of... It kind of, like, ended stuff, but... Started up again with La Las uh, yeah. Galaxy, but I like that because it freed it, it up. It, so, like, yeah, yeah, it had some closure and it freed it up for the next. Because you know they were originally gonna get canceled, like terrible tanks so bad. Yeah, that it, they couldn't recover from that. They had like a even though you know Turbo was fun, the season not did not do well rain wise. <laughs> the movie did worse than the original Mighty Morphin movie. It, they I, spent so I, much I, time in that stupid boat. It was that so, boat, that boat. It was so boring. Dude, Cars you know boats, how long like, the movie was? Oh, the, the, like, like the actual cut was like super long. Like you guys wow. complain about the Mighty Morphin, like the new one, but yeah, look at the Turbo, the turbo movie. They're they're cars they cars waiting, waiting in a boat in, in to a go boat. drive their cars. Yes. Like, come on, you could do some more crazier things with the cars. Turn one into a boat, helicopter, like some crazy stuff, and just not waste half an hour on a boat. And yeah, the super boat. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that. We yeah, I know. Nine minutes left in the panel. Okay. Nine minutes left. Yes. We have the Lavender Ranger here. What is your website? One more time for the people at home. Henshin Grid H E N S H I N Grid dot blogspot dot com, or you just go Google it, and then um Rangers Central dot com. And you could also um, just follow him on Twitter at Lavender Ranger or um, Instagram, which I'm, I'm always on, I'm always on both. Way, and on Instagram, it's the same way at Blunderblog. Um, our podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, anywhere that podcasts are supposed to be. We're trying to put our podcast there. So if it's not, let me know, and I'll get it there for you, for your preference. Um, Blockbuster Guy Frank has a has a yeah, channel on have YouTube. A YouTube channel called Oh It's Blockbuster Guy. Same thing for my Instagram. We can find all the main information on the Bundycast's website. Yep. Um, the Bundy blog. And uh, if you want to keep up with us, we're on Bundablog.com. On most internets, we're not on the Tor network or the dark web yet. But <laughs> if, if anyone knows how to log in through AOL into the dark web, you guys can manage our, our dark web page if you guys want. How can we be possible. through AOL, though? I know um, it, it's hilarious. But I don't know. It's just that little wrinkle in time. The wrinkle in time, okay. It's that little wrinkle history. that if they can figure that out, oh, okay. then they are true. Because I just want America's online. I don't want the rest of the world. <laughs> like, that's what I was confused about right. America Online. Like, is the world, like, at the time, like, I, yeah, I was no, a kid, no, no, no. and that's all I used. Like, like my I, dad still has it. Could account. I really not talk to someone? You, the whole point of the internet is that you talk to everyone in, at, on the world at the same time. Yeah. And they were literally like, no, 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 just talk to America. 
<laughs> just talking to America. Like, my sister's got an AOL email. email. Like, I'm surprised that she still has one. Oh, my dad still has that account. He pays it. I'm like, why what? are you still Wait, paying this? Wait, you have to this? pay for it? His email. I thought you had to pay account. for the internet, but not the email itself. Yeah, it's like three bucks or something. Mr. J, now. any oh, last Ranger thoughts you want to espouse on the podcast while the while the airwaves still play? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I still think the best multi-part episode is the Green Ranger saga. Yeah. Green and, Ranger uh, saga. So, yeah. basically... Green with they evil. They started so good. Green with evil. Yeah, and it's was... never gotten back to that point for you? <laughs> wow. Wow. Mr. Well, I mean, they've, they've had wow. great episodes. Or it's just someone... It's since it was episodes. like your first love, it's the purest love. I, guess I mean, so, they've had yeah. other great episodes, but I thought that was the best Nothing one. Is and that, is that my it was just crazy seeing the first time an evil ranger and then him jumping into the Megazord. He just punches them out. He throws them out. Yeah. Them all out. And doesn't he become all huge and he becomes like yes. a giant? Yes. 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 Bam. yes. And he has That's a big awesome. sword. And so, so did he, did Rita it's blow a <laughs> like all of his Green Ranger Morphicoin magic? By making him huge, and that's why he has no. so little left. No no no, 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 no. It was so little because of the green candle. The green candle. If you watch the green candle part one and part two. Okay, so the candle doesn't power his. his it, it 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 took a lot of. It took a power. Yeah, it took a lot out of him. Let's say. But the it tuckered was, the big guy out. What supposedly he touched the candle, but we never. On him, touch no candle. Wait, no, no, I, I think, think it was like work, when, in Green with Evil when Rita first captured him. She, hit him she put him in she... like wax. Yeah, yeah. It was the wax that surrounded him, and then she made the candle out of that. Oh, okay. That's what it was. Wait, oh, okay, I, because that was not the case I, in the Japanese the version, so that's what got me confused. So, wait, with the whole wax, so like, compared to that to the other version, what's so different between the green morpher against the other morphers? Like, the, he has a candle. And they with a coin? Candle. No, but what I just said was what what I just when, said. when she first trapped him. She put him like in wax. Like if you uh, see him and he looks like he's in a cocoon, right. and then she made that candle out of that wax, and that that drained his powers. That makes sense. Okay. That yeah, makes sense. that makes sense. Yeah, because they're melting the away. It's gonna be gone. It was a temporary ring. But then how they bring it back? Though? Zordon gave Whoa. him some of his power he gave some in the powers. coin. Oh, that makes sense. Deuce, Max, but it was Deuce, Max, 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 yeah, but it was limited. Yeah. But like, um, like in the Japanese version, like it wasn't uh, um, a cocoon of wax. It was actual cocoon. He was in stasis. All right, and, last and then the least. candle was the controlling his life. I'll tell you later. No, no, last no, no, but not no, no, least, no, no, no. Um, our special guest of this panel, <laughs> our now retired Megazord. Oh no! Do you have any last words for everybody <laughs> before you go? <laughs> Get me a job. Get me a job. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end. We've been the Vundacast. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. Have a good one. We have two more panels today. We have a wrestling panel at around. Oh God! <laughs> we didn't even survive the panel. No. Yeah, and they wanted the kids to play with this. Yeah. Wait. Let me see the. Really? Worst really? sword <laughs> ever, man. Really? So I we have another panel today it. about wrestling. Whoa. That we will oh, might I, possibly have Michael Jackson, the writer of Some of the parts are like there. it's missing. Like, oh, so you can't make your bag. We have a panel at night, a horror movie panel. <laughs> and this guy. Called horror movie about how? I don't know how come he looks like a spider. Man. Dude, late night. I don't know why they put so many uh, legs on. Uh, yo, okay. Director from Ash vs. the Evil Dead season three, episode three. One half of the Mason Brothers will be there to talk horror movies with us. Um, we what also have uh, I think it's something a few like more this. panels tomorrow. We have the DCFU, the Ugh. good, the bad, and the bizarro something awards like show. Mm -hmm. uh, like, yeah. uh, we're going to hand out awards to all the most cringy and amazing and moments in DC history. Um, and we're also going to do another panel tomorrow, so, late night. My wife is hosting it, like and this. she is probably going to make all us boys shut up and listen to her. Like it's called The Hottest Just Sex. That is it. In movies and television, about all like those that. ships that people have like that they're going to keep on sailing on the internet yeah, forever, yeah. no matter if the big companies acknowledge them or not. Um, and then at the end of the con on Thursday, we have rant about anything nerdy. You guys should come down. I believe it's in room 305, and there'll be an open mic, and you guys can be on a live podcast in like good audio form. And win yes. lots and lots of cool prizes. Just for participation. Thank you guys so much for showing up and being here. We have been the Vundacast. Boom. Thank you. Vundacast? Give yeah. it up for Vundacast, man. What an adorable name.